it already. And they're just waiting at the uh, left-hand end, the Holt end. I think knowing those Italians will go on for quite some time. There's 10,000 of them here from Rome. The last ever European Cup Winners' Cup final. 39th and final episode. Oh, and the goalkeeper's going to get booked for time-wasting. Marco Gianni has shown the yellow card. Probably worth mentioning also, uh, Palmer won the UEFA Cup. That's the uh, Cup Winners' Cup, but you won't get an Italian winner at the European Cup. That's a very uh, solid summing up, Trevor. Here's Ngonga and uh, Fernando Couto, who's just come on, got the foot in there. Here's Lombardo. Play on to the referee, and Gonga plays it down the centre. Marco Gianni says, that's mine. But he can't afford to waste time again, having just been booked. Needs to give it a good thump, I would imagine. Two and a half minutes of stoppage time coming up. Referee looks long and hard. His watch. Lazio continue to win it in the air. That's uh, a little bit careless. And uh, Marco Gianni coming right out of goal again. And the Mallorca fans, I think, have lost hope now. But here's the Gaza. And it's still Gaza. And there's danger here. Paunovic is in there. Hankaro it was who had the header. And three minutes of stoppage time up. Ngonga thumps it in. Marcelino's in there. Marco Gianni collects. Marco Gianni done well, I think, in the second half. Well, three or four balls, I mean, they should have been his. And also, he's come out, though, covered well with his feet three or four occasions. This is Conceição. Lazio have won the last European Cup Winners' Cup for Italy. Having beaten Mallorca by two goals to one to set the seal on 38 years of competition for this trophy. The winning goal scorer is not on the pitch, Nedved, but Salas and Vieri embrace. And the start here another Italian celebration following the UEFA Cup they now take the Cup Winners' Cup and what a moment for Attilio Lombardo 33 with Crystal Palace halfway through this season goes back to Italy and wins a European trophy there'll be some scenes here now at Villa Park they'll be looking ahead <laughs> to see if they can make it a double with Serie A but for the moment they are the winners here tonight and there's Nedved being led across to join the celebrations. It was his volley which clinched the match in the 82nd minute. And an English ground, the scene of the last rites of this competition. In the end, Mallorca, perhaps not quite ambitious enough, didn't push too many men forward to support the brilliant Danny, who ends up as a loser. But the scene will be set now for the presentations here. The Spanish faces show only sadness. The conquerors of Chelsea failed to win the final. But for the supporters of Lazio, it's going to be quite a night. And for Sven Goran Eriksson, in his fifth final as a coach in Europe, his second win. And a much admired and dignified coach he is too. Well, they spent £70 million last summer, well over £100 million on this team, for Notti, the owner, and Ericsson has delivered a European trophy. A lot of handshaking going on, a lot of flag-waving going on, a lot of applause going on, all from the Italians. 
Brooks in the area has been nominated man of the match, which just supports Trevor Brooking's view. Yes, he has. The UEFA official vote going to the man who scored the first goal and then got a cut above his right eye. And uh, Marcelino reflects Mallorca's sadness as they lose the final. Lazio having defeated them by two goals to one, and it was quite a good finish, Desmond. Thanks for the moment, John. Of course, we'll be back with you for the presentation in a second or two, but let's get the views of Alan Hansen and Martin O'Neill about the outcome. It was a very close-run thing, Alan, wasn't it? I thought the second half was disappointing, Des. Um, either side could have gone and won. I will say the strike for the goal, the winning goal, was excellent. And the Italians just go from strength to strength, don't they? I mean, Palmer won last, last week, and when you look at the product in the Premiership, it is superb. But you've got to say that Serie A is the best league in the world. Well, what a strike this is, this is fantastic. They're not going to win the European Cup. No, but year after year, when it comes to the semi-final European competition, the Italians have always got three or four teams in there. there. The English, Manchester United have done well to get to the final of the Champions League. Last year, Chelsea won this competition, but in the UEFA Cup, the performances of the English teams have been abysmal. And if you want to emulate the Italians, then you've got to get more teams in, in the semi-final final of the, of the competition. What about you, Martin? Impressed with the quality of play or not quite? Well, well, I, I, I know what Alan's saying in terms of uh, being a general. The, the generalities of this thing is that the Italians have dominated European football and, and probably are very, very strong. But tonight, I thought John Moxon summed it up admirably. I thought that Mallorca showed no ambition at all second half and suffered because of it. I honestly thought they'd come, they would come out second half. I did think that they might push about 10, 10 yards further up the field, all over the place. In other words, get the defenders up.